It's so marvelous to see your mother in the kitchen, like making her sauce almost like through muscle memory. You oh know? yeah, yeah, and that like, just goes, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, yeah. Um, did did you have a job persuading them to to do that? Um, well, by that time, they once the films, the short films, won some uh, scholarship awards and things like that. And once I was at Woodstock, for example, as part of that film. Uh, Films were being made all around. There were other people making independent films. They began to really accept it. And also they were drafted into making. They were drafted into acting in my student films. Because it's your mother and your father. You, had, you know, <laughs> you need, needed somebody in the frame. Come over here, Mom. Do this for me. And come, oh, how long is this going to take? Because I have to get back. Never mind. We're gonna... <laughs> so in a way, it was like a family project. And then I go here. This is what my mother-in-law taught me. Take a spoon, few spoonfuls of tomato throw them in here because your meatballs remain very soft. I believe it was a Saturday and a Sunday, and it was only three hours each day, and it was 1976, part of this National Endowment of the Arts, something called Storm of Strangers, a half-hour show on all the different immigrant groups that came to America, Jewish, Chinese, Amer Italian, et cetera, Spanish. Mine I wanted longer, but it, it was eventually cut down to a half hour, but what you have here is the full version, and the full version was shown at the New York Film Festival. In any event, I decided if they want me to give an impression of the Italian-American experience because of mean streets, I wouldn't do it uh, in a traditional or conventional documentary fashion. So why don't we just go to my mother's and father's apartment and have dinner? And we'll just ask them questions about their lives and what it was like when they were born the year on Elizabeth Street, still living on Elizabeth Street. Mark Martin and I came up with this list of questions and things like that, but the moment we put the camera in the room, it's right there, you see it, and Lee Osborne, who's our sound guy, hit the sink, pan the camera over, they started. Okay, was that the light? Where are you sitting, down there, why? Why, are you, why is he down there? He can do what he wants, let him do what he wants. Okay, so why are you so far from me? Come okay. All right, Get so closer. We're... And when they started, I realized that there was no way that I could, not that no way you could control it, you could ask the questions, you could guide it, but what was really happening was something else entirely. And I, this was much more valuable, I thought, because it'd be like everybody having dinner together. 